Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Electro Study. This is lecture series 10, Introduction to IoT, dealing with data formats. Please do like, share, subscribe and comment. Come let's go into the video. So totally, in this video, we will be seeing about various aspects of data format. And this series of data format consists of what is data format? and how it is divided and we will be seeing in the next series of lecture about importance of processing in IoT, processing topologies, IoT design and selection consideration and processing offloading. So these are the topics which will, uh, which will be covered in uh, all the lecture series. So in this lecture series we will be seeing about what is data format. So here, see you can see various databases connected towards internet and cloud from various sectors. You have industries, transport, building, traffic, transaction, human. So these are the various sectors from which the data is in form of files, in form of music or video, it is sent to the internet. I mean, it is stored in the cloud through internet. So you have an internet and all these are maintained as a database in the cloud. So the complete data format, how it is fetched and derived, you can see in this diagram. So what is data format? So like it, internet is not something very small. So internet is, it is a vast space where many quantities, huge quantities and varieties of data can be generated or retrieved. It is not that only a file format can be created. It can be any format of data that can be stored and retrieved. So as it is dealing with huge quantities, so the massive data can be generated by the user. So huge quantity is massive data or whatever it is, it can be generated by the user and after generating, it is further enhanced by multiple devices utilized by the users. So it is not that we just generate the data. We take the uh, generated data and we are enhancing the data by using it in some applications. right? And the data generated source, which will be non-human data generation, it is not human intervented. So it is non-human data generation sources like sensor nodes or uh, some automatic or uh, automated applications all these further add the data uh, data load to the internet we we just don't tell that we enhance the data it is that if we are giving more pressure on the internet to uh, take uh, generate and retrieve the data and here this huge volume huge uh, volume of data is uh, is composed of variety of data like emails text so emails can be text can be in form of documents pdf uh, and uh, audio files video files and social media posts generally it is just an image or post that you do in social media so it is of any kind as we have seen here see it is of any kind which can be generated and retrieved so this is what uh, uh, basic of data format is. So this data format, this data can be divided as structured data and unstructured data. So structured data is nothing but in clean basis you can get the data. See, we uh, for example, I can tell FIFO format, first in, first out. So who are, who is coming in first basis? You are you are given the first priority, and he is taken back out in the first. So it is a kind of structured data. The data will arrive when it is not required, it will move and give the other data a chance. Unstructured data is something where it is not organized properly. Uh, yeah, uh, it can be used in any way in, uh, at any minutes. So structured data. Structured data, I can give you example as structured query languages will be uh, an example of structured data. So what is structured data? So these are nothing but it is text data which is predefined structure. It is having its own structure which is predefined. And so if it, if it is having predefined structure, then we call it as structured data. And this is structured data is associated with some management system. That is nothing but relational database management system. Right. So these are primarily created by using 
length limited data fields like it will be given specific fields phone number should be nine digits so only nine digits can be formed in that data so it is structured to nine digits nobody can enter more than nine digits or security numbers where the bank generates it is might be six that's all more than that you cannot enter if it if you enter it becomes invalid so all these kind of data fields we produce it is a, a form which is taking its own structure so even if the data is human or machine generated these data the structured data can be easily searchable by querying algorithm that is why you we use structured query language so in that structured query language we use many query uh, algorithm to find out what series of number is provided and in which series uh, of uh, phone number uh, is who is having that phone number all these can be easily identified and common usage of this kind of data will be associated with uh, like a flight reservation train reservation or banking system all, all these uh, areas we'll be using structured data and obviously the structured data will be holding very minor share of total generated data over the internet so in, in the internet there will be huge massive data produced in that very small uh, portion will be considered as a structured data so then what is unstructured data so query languages such as no sql will be generated for this kind of unstructured data so this data on the internet which is not structured it is it is not having any predefined structure for it then it is called as unstructured data so these kind of data will not have any structure of its own and according to the application it keeps generating the values say for example i can tell you is you, you can include text audio files video files images phone recordings or chats that we use in whatsapp chats all these are unstructured data see in whatsapp chat we don't have limit of typing the date uh, wordings it can be any wordings one message will have 10 uh, 10 wordings one message can have more than 10 wordings so that is a kind of unstructured data so for example you can give that it is a machine generated unstructured data like sensor data real time sensor data cannot be a structured one it can vary depending upon the atmosphere then uh, traffic buildings industry satellite images or surveillance camera these all doesn't give any structured value whatever it is fetching it gives you which is not structured one and this data is not you is is not having any fixed format associated with it so if it is not having fixed format then it is very difficult for applying any algorithm to take up the data backup data that is not uh, possible in unstructured data so you will be using querying languages such as no sql for this kind of data types right so you hope you have understood about structured and unstructured data stay tuned for more information thank you